Well, we've got some breaking news out of the NBA where Giannis Antetokounmpo has signed an extension with the Bucks. It's a three-year, $186 million deal for the two-time MVP. That extension includes a player option for the final season. The Greek freak is entering his 11th year in Milwaukee already, where he was drafted in 2013 and won a title in 2021. The Bucks will open up their season on Thursday night at home against the Sixers. Immediate reaction coming in from our NBA insider, Bill Ryder. Bill, it's always great to see you and hear a celebratory moment here for both the Bucks and Giannis. Three years of control, two of that uh, coming in the hands of the team, one of that coming in the hands of Giannis. Your initial reaction to this deal and the way it aligns with everything else going on in Milwaukee is what? That come what may this season with Damian Lillard and all the hopes that that's going to translate to real success, Joe. John Horst, the general manager, has already won the trade. Or at least the trade is a win for him and his organization. There were real questions around the NBA about whether or not Giannis would extend. That deadline was midnight tonight. Whether he would extend next summer if he didn't do it as he has by that deadline today. There were worries that if things went badly, if Damian Lillard couldn't play at the level they expected, if he got hurt, if anything went wrong, maybe Giannis would want to go somewhere else. And this obviously solidifies the best or second best player on earth in Milwaukee for a long time so that Damian Lillard trade already a win for the Milwaukee Bucks for a mid-level market to be able to do this for a decade plus with one of the great stars of the game I mean does it indicate to you anything I don't want to go too macro here but about the future of the league and the stars that play in it yeah, it's a great question. I think, it, and I'm from that part of the country, and it, every time these things happen, it, it, I'm from Iowa, right on the border of Wisconsin, I'm always frankly shocked because that's not the way things have been. I think I think several things are in play at once here, Joe. Yes, I do think there is a, a bit of a change in the way the CBA several years ago was designed to try to allow teams to offer that extra money to incentivize players to stick around. That's certainly a play. I think you have to give the Milwaukee Bucks credit. They put together, obviously, a championship winning team around Giannis a couple years ago, and then they were both and going to get Damian Lillard, which was a surprise when it happened in the offseason. But I also think Giannis is a unique player, a unique guy. I mean, plenty of players, and let's take Kevin Durant as an example, have gone to small markets, have had success, have been relatively loyal, and have decided, like we all sometimes do in our careers, they want to go somewhere else. Maybe the lights are brighter somewhere else. Maybe they feel like the, the, the grass is a little bit greener on the other side of that NBA arena. In this case, I think Giannis, you talk to people in that Bucks front office, they were very confident they could get this done because they think Giannis Antetokounmpo is a different kind of guy just in terms of his willingness to be in that kind of a market for the long term if he believes they can win. For fans in a larger market, let's say just hypothetically Miami, it is only a three-year <laughs> deal here for Giannis, so we'll see. I'm sure we'll be sitting down talking about even bigger numbers when that time comes to pass. Bill, before we let you go here, expectation with Giannis on the court is always going to be championship, but with this core of players that they now have this season, do you feel a different expectation, and how will that affect the way they go out there and play? I mean, look, be, be weary of, of predictions because they're worth what you pay for them. I, I had to do mine for, for CBSSports.com and for us, Joe, and it's it's hard between this team and the Celtics. I, mm -hmm. I took the Bucks, and I can tell you that, that talking to some folks in that front office today, now they're giddy. They are giddy <laughs> from the news that we're discussing. Trust me, it's party time right now at, at the Bucks facility, but they, on, they really believe that they have a, a legitimate chance to be the best team in the NBA for the, for the entirety of the season and when the season comes to an end in, in – in June. So I think, yes, those ex expectations are championship expectations. And, and when the core of your team and really the most important guy in Giannis Antetokounmpo has already lifted that trophy, you can handle that. You can handle that weight. I think that there's a very good chance if guys are healthy, not just him and look, look, Chris Middleton, and obviously you got to have Giannis be healthy. But if this core is healthy, there's no reason they can't be as good as any other team in the NBA this season. Yeah, they look like uh, the best on paper to me. Bill Ryder, always good on paper and in person. Bill, we appreciate you. All right, here's a look at what Vegas thinks of these bucks. The extension, not moving numbers, the Dame deal did. NBA title just shy of four to one money. To win the East, plus 175, as you heard Bill say, it's the Bucks, it's the Seas, it's a pause, and everybody else. Win to the Visions, a big minus number. A win total sitting at 53 and a half. Season tips off, soon come.